welcome to the channel my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching episode 8 of Moonlight Chicken. Last episode was absolutely catastrophically devastating. <laughs> oh my god why did they put us through that? Why did they do it to the loveliest character? I don't know but I don't think I'll ever be over for it. I can just picture Cow Tongue's face singing that song and it makes me want to weep. <laughs> I'll be honest, it eclipsed, oh, eclipsed <laughs> everything else that happened in the episode because all I can think about is the funeral, which did take up a large chunk of it, but I remember there being so many beautiful, lovely moments. Okay, no, no, I, I, I'm thinking about it now. I can remember, but the first thing that comes to mind is just Cao Tung crying the whole app. Li Ming's mum came into the picture and she found out that he was gay. Or was that episode six? It was last episode because that was also the poor and gay episode. Jesus Christ, a lot happened. <laughs> Li Ming's mum came to visit and she asked Li Ming if he would come back and live with her because she's getting married and she's going to be more stable and her fiance has asked about her child. She hasn't seen him in years, didn't they say? He's only coming back now. It doesn't paint good parent vibes from her. Um, Li Ming, however, isn't keen on the idea. Obviously, we know he wants to go to work and travel anyway. It's just another person trying to make plans for him, so he was getting annoyed. He doesn't even love her, or he doesn't feel like he loves her, but he's certain that he loves Jim. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that scene at first. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop, I'm gonna cry just thinking about all this stuff. <laughs> I told you I'm not over the last episode. Jim and Li Ming had that lovely scene during the funeral where Li Ming told Jim that he loved him and then they were jokingly talking about Heart and his relationship with him. So lovely and a real... The episode, as much as it was about Guy for losing his mother, it was a real turning point for Jim and oh, so needed. We, we found out that at Beam's funeral, he lost his rights to the money that they shared for the restaurant. So he lost his whole savings. And so I guess his struggles with money have stemmed back that far when he lost almost all of his livelihood. And at the end of the episode, he decided to give up his diner, which I think is the best thing because it's kind of letting go of that final piece of Beam that he's clung on to. Where he goes from here now is the question, I don't know. Jim Nallen also had a lovely scene. Like tragedy does tend to bring people together, doesn't it? And I feel like last episode, so demonstrated that. Now, here for the final episode, I have my cosplay. Yes, again, I'm not letting the streak die. I've gone for an open shirt look because if there's one thing Moonlight Chicken loves, it's an open shirt. I'm picturing Jim well on the beach. This is the vibe. Summer's nearly over here. Not that it really was here in the UK because it was rainy for like a whole month. But I digress. My disdain for the weather aside, <laughs> let's get into episode eight of Moonlight Chicken. <laughs> It's time for him to let go. Li Ming can only get out of his life. If he doesn't want to go back, he'll let him go. So the problem is that I can find him all the time. Li Ming is the same. Jim voicing giving Li Ming freedom. We love to see the growth. I'm just worried about my mother. Yeah, worried about what could happen to him. Do you want to go back? 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 I don't know about those worries. <laughs> you could say that about any any child. You have to let him make them. Oh! Yeah, I think he is I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that. Oh, they're so jokey with each other. I've waited for times like these. You love when you're about me. I was just thinking that he looks so well dressed today. Go when I won't know, yeah. Was an on me. But I want to get in room there. Come with a win on my room. It is just really important to me. No, I think you're so bad for you. He's still gonna make him sleep on the floor. Now that's true love. Takes me back to episode two when he said 
all you want is a home, not just a place to live, but someone to come home to and feel warm. <laughs> Aww. Why is he taking a pick though? A goal for him to work towards maybe? To finally be able to afford them? Is she gonna get them? Ah. <laughs> In the room, I'm just like, oh, man, I'm so deep. Chill, Laxi. Hey, Laxi, thank you. I got hot in my conjunct. Tar. Thank me, thank you. I got someone to talk about. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's She's worried about him, like she was saying she's worried about how he's going to be treated when he's an adult. And I'm sure a part of her is worried about what people will say about him as well because people always have something to riff on people about. Believing it could be a sexuality part, it could be her multiple marriages, like there's there's always something that people are going to gossip about and there's nothing you can do to control that. That's why it's people you love that matter and whether they accept you or not is the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's just his realisation that he does love her. There's a lot of lingering looks and I don't really know why. <laughs> the way I want to cry just looking at Guy first. Shut up, don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, we know. Oh my god, I didn't even thought that. I'm scared of that. I've never been so scared. It's the way he looks so defeated. Like, Guy Fur has always radiated such happiness and warmth. Just that first shot when it showed Jim and Wen pouring the water and then Leng and Guy Fur, he just literally looked grey, like completely devoid of happy emotions. And it's funny because I, I watch him in Only Friends and I don't see Guy Fur at all. Like, that is Ray. I'm like, this is Ray. And I don't even think about Guy Fur. But suddenly, now watching this, I'm like, go for and want to sob. It's amazing how he has the exact same face, but he could just be a completely different person, and it shows. Yeah. Oh my god, are we gonna have a well and guy for combo? Ah! <laughs> Are they pushing someone else's car? He's gonna say no. This is devastating and I don't know why. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny because I watched Only Friends episode 4 the other day when it came out and it was the episode where it looks like Ray is going to let... Oh, spoilers if you haven't seen Only Friends. <laughs> um, it was the episode where Ray looks like he's going to be letting go of Mew and now pursuing things with Sand and letting go of the past and moving on. And the scenario is so similar here but it hurts so much more because... I guess in Only Friends it feels like he has that other option of San, like he's letting go of the unrequited love but he has someone else who will be there for him, whereas here it's like he's letting go of Jim but he doesn't have anyone else to pursue things with. I think that's why it's so much sadder. And it is such a good thing for him to not attend every event with Jim because he needs some space away to kind of like get over him I guess. I just don't want it to be a thing of like he distances himself from them completely and then ends up alone. That's that's my fear. Um, I know he'll still have Leng, but Leng's about to have a baby. Leng isn't going to be that free all the time. I just don't want Guy to be lonely. I think I might have established my favourite character because I'm getting way too emotional. <laughs> it took the whole show, but I've decided Guy is my fave. <laughs> 
That's kind of similar to uh, Alan last episode as well, though, isn't it? When he saw Jim and Wen together, it's like that that first sign, like, oh, they really do like each other. They're happy. I should be too. Oh my god, hearts! It. <laughs> hearts trying his hand at a few different jobs, didn't he? They are becoming like a real family, aren't they? They've got the theme song playing. It's the final night at the diner though. How bittersweet. Oh, oh they're taking a pic. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> like it's just like moving or blurry in every pic. That's so me. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to just be crying the whole lap because it's like a goodbye, isn't it? He's leaving this apartment behind. Good idea. He's leaving the photos to stay in the apartment for eternity. Leave him alone. <laughs> mm. It's time for him to stand on his own two feet. I love that. It had to be him to say this because that Wen's there for him because he cares, obviously, and that's the reason he stayed for so long. Even though he wasn't in love with him anymore romantically, he still cared about him as a person and he didn't want to see him hurt and he didn't want to leave him heartbroken. So he's still being there for him now, but this isn't going to help him move on. And Alan's finally reached the acceptance stage where he just needs to let him go, a bit like Guy for Guy for doing it with Jim, he's doing it with the word as well. They need to let go of people in order to be happy, clinging on to the hope of being with them again, which they both had. Okay, maybe I am rooting for Alan and Guy for to be together. <laughs> Last episode, I was like, no, I don't like the thought of shoehorning these characters together, but now... I am here for it because it's the only way they're going to get a happy ending and I want them both to have one. <laughs> they had a similar situation where they were clinging on to the hope of being with the one that they love but that person just doesn't love them back so it's up to them to let go after being rejected because they were the ones that were clinging on to them. But Alan in particular I'm so proud of because he has been like really fighting for it the whole show and so to see him now reaching this phase where he's like right you need to go off and be happy and so do I so I can walk alone. Leaving the pictures in the apartment he doesn't quite have the heart to throw them in the trash but he also doesn't want to take them with him he wants to leave them where they are so the next owners could just throw them, throw them away or whatever when they move in. It is a nice moment though. It's what he's been hoping for all along. Engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Not be smiling over Hart's mom. What a change. <laughs> He's in America, isn't it? He's going to America. Magon, go, Tamgan. Just in tow. I could so imagine that. <laughs> These are the silly goofy moments that he should have been having all this time. I'm not gonna dwell on that though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the tin look. Boyfriend. Girl, nia, kong rung chua chua. Sue ma fa. Oh, he finally bought him one. Ha po mi ngan tham. Pom jai keb tang ma khen rung tuk ba le. He don't have to do that though. Phi mung lu tua mung chop alai. Jam wai yang. Wo mung mai dai pit alai le. This episode is destined to break me. Ah, sue ma dai ngai ko dai. Mai dong huang pom rung. 
ความรักอ่ะมันไม่ใช่เรื่องใหญ่อะไรขนาดนั้นอ่ะเรื่องไม่มีจะกินเนี่ยสำคัญกว่าเยอะ It's so worth the warning l i k อยู่กับลุงนี่แหละดีที่สุดแล้ว They had their trials and tribulations when they got through them Oh my God thank you ขอบคุณมึงเหมือนกันเรื่องที่เด็กอย่างมึงเนี่ยก็สอนให้กูโตขึ้นอีกได้ True Someone else deserves a thank you for that as well though he really did bridge the gap Oh ผมรักลงนะ Oh my God stop บางทีผมก็อิสระลิมิงมานะที่มันรู้ตัวว่าความฝันมันคืออะไรวันนี้คือความฝันของผมจริงใช่ไหม He has a dead dream for ten years either ผมนั่นตอบไม่ได้เลย You drink so you don't drink ผมไม่รู้ว่าที่ผมทำอยู่ตอนนี้เป็นเพราะว่ารัก Well because it's all you know หรือว่าเป็นเพราะว่าผมฉันก็คิดตอนนี้เลยดิลุง Your life isn't over yet ฝันไปก็ลำบากอยู่ดี That is true He's a realist ถ้าเกิดมันน่าสนใจเนี่ยเดี๋ยวผมไปนายทุนให้ลุงเองชื่อจริงผมก็มีทุนอีกก้อนนึงนะเพราะว่ามันอยู่กับผมมานานนี่แหละ Can we get rid of Jimbo next? That's the only other thing left for Beam. ยิ้มมารอนะลุงเดินต่อไปอาทิตย์หน้านะพี่ก็ให้คนเช่าเนี่ยเข้าไปตกแต่งได้เลยครับ Oh gosh. กูว่าจะชนมึงไปนะเงินเดือนบวก 30% เว้ยยังต่ำผมเนี่ยพี่ So he has to choose between staying with Jim or a pay rise. ตรงนี้นะครับใช่ครับน่าจะโอเคแล้วครับคุณไกปาครับ No him drinking water. แล้วก็ฝากคุณอลันจัดการต่อให้ด้วยนะครับได้เลยครับ Oh, he feels so handsome. ผมขอลาคุณไกปาไว้ได้ไหม Oh my God! Oh yeah. The pen. Oh my God! Why is that so cute? When Jim took that pen, how how deep of a scene was that? When Jim took the pen and he was like, "I didn't know I stole it," and he was like, "Next time, consider not taking things that aren't yours." <laughs> Whereas Guy took it, he didn't give it a second thought. You've been hit on Guy for go you. Oh, he's opened his own stall. A food truck. Oh look, he's got the picture there. Let me see the picture. Oh, he's already up. 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 Oh, he's It seems he's landed on his feet then. Oh. 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 It took him so long to work up to that status. Oh man, this is hard, nah. Ben. Hard. Yeah. Man, go. Hard. Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Long time, ha? Hot spot. ไม่เห็นครึกครื้เหมือนที่ถ่ายคลิปลงติ๊กต็อกเลยนะลูกดูแลแฟนตักให้แฟนเร็วเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฟรนด์เย่กับวันเนี่ยผมว่าจะไปด้วยอ่ะอเมริกานะก็เรียนไปด้วยแล้วก็ทํางานไปด้วยอ่ะแล้วมันใช้เงินเท่าไหร่อ่ะ My first job ประมาณแสนหนึ่งอ่ะแม่ลุงจิมขายรถแล้วก็ให้ยืมมาสามหมื่นอ่ะแล้วผมว่าทำงานไปเก็บตังก
ได้คืนแล้วแสนหนึ่งอ่ะนี่ไอ้ฮาร์ดมันไปเป็นเพื่อนด้วยไม่เหงาเลยนะแม่ He sounds so excited about it and he has thought it through เขาชอบเวลาอยู่กับมันเลยอ่ะพี่อาร์แคะซ่อมให้หนูด้วยโอ้ยดีจังเลยเนาะภาษามือขอบคุณทำยังไงอ่ะ Oh my god she wants to learn sign language immediately แม่บอกว่าขอบคุณ Love that she's making an effort ชื่อกูเหรอเหรอประหลาดประหลาดไม่วันเลย I will never be able to Ming's reactions to heart speaking, and his reactions are what provide heart with the confidence to continue to try with his speech. He's clearly been practicing saying his own name. If his voice has become so much clearer, and I bet he's been practicing saying Li Ming's name on his own as well. Li Ming is so genuinely happy for him every time he does it, and that's just the confidence boost he needs. And They are so perfect for each other. <laughs> I'm so glad that their families have come around and allowed them to achieve their dreams together as well. This is. ขอบใจมึงมากนะลำพังกูคนเดียวอ่ะเลี้ยงไอ้หลีมิงไม่รอดหรอกก็ได้เรียนรู้ความเป็นผู้ใหญ่จากมันเหมือนกันเช่ It's funny how your children can teach you things as well. จัดการเรื่องเรียนให้มันด้วยเอาที่ดินไปค้ำไว้ก่อนเดี๋ยวกูผ่อนให้เองให้กูได้ทำหน้าที่แม่บ้าง That's what I was just thinking. Let her bear some of the burden for once. Oh my God! Is he gonna eat here? Hey. Alan. Why? Are you eating food? Today, the customer will be at the bank. Oh! This is their meeting place. No time to go to the bank. No problem. Today, I have a customer at the bank. Oh, yes. And you know this, right? Ah! This is Wern, my friend. Oh. Let's eat this first. Let's eat this first. I'm going to eat it for a while. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. But this freaking chicken rice salad! Really does make it so much more. Thank you. It does, doesn't it? Yes, please. Don't ruin things for him. They're all just living together in harmony now. Oh, genuine smile. People are actually making an effort to communicate with him. I love that. ผมนั่งดูคนกินข้าวมันไก่ทุกวันแต่ละคนมีความสุขในข้าวมันไก่ Guess it's kind of like how everyone enjoys life in their own way. Oh, so I guess it's not kind of confirmed like Alan and Guy, but it's a bit Tilpore-esque, isn't it? Like there's there's a hint, but it's not confirmed. But we live and dream. Guy looks happy. Alan looks happy. I'll take it. I'll take it. I bet Alan's been drafting up documents like hounding the bank. Is there any more documents in this case? Oh, I think we should do this just so he has an excuse to meet with Guy. <laughs> the DVD. Are they gonna watch the film? Finally. I'm sure that you never give up. I think he has to bring the light enough times. If I give up, it's easy. We'll have this today. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's right, I'm saying. I'm saying that 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 He's finally got the confidence to touch his hair. Eat chicken every day. Not a burden, huh, Lung? Like a burden. Chicken or what? If Lung is talking about chicken, he's ready to accept that there's a burden. But I'm not a burden. Good. But 
แต่อนาคตคุณอาจจะเบื่อก็ได้ Five years down the line. <laughs> oh, oh! They haven't kissed before, have they? On screen. Very romantic, Tim. Wen, Ah Chan Man Gai Chua Kha. Jai Bei Luo Zhang Ma Chan Man. Yao Bing Kai Luo Zhang. Ah Chan Hai Bei Lai. Bei Bao Kha Ngai. Wai Ngai Luo. <laughs> I want to hear him say it as many times as possible. It took so long for him to finally say it. Sad poem. The ear didn't one go for Jim's ear in the first scene. He just built his home, his dream. He's achieved his dream. That is the best ending to a PL I've seen so far. We got a little bit of everyone in there, seeing where they left off and where they're headed as well. Leaming and Hart are headed off to America together. Uh, but what I like the most is how they built the bridges between the people. Like Guy and Jim got their closure, Alan and Wern got closure early on in the episode, but then at the end it came full circle and they're all eating together at the diner in harmony and Alan and Guy are potentially embarking on a on a relationship or a date or whatever's going on there and then Jim and Wern are obviously living their best lives, being happy for once. <laughs> Leeming and his mum was the biggest bridge that was built, I feel like it was very focused on her this episode for the final ep. There was a lot of lingering looks from her, like really trying to take in her son and learn more about him. And she has finally stepped up and is giving him like the, the last puzzle piece to achieve his dream of going to America. And I think Li Ming is kind of like learning to love her. They seem a lot more in each other's lives now because she's got a stable home and her husband seems nice. And I don't know whether that was her daughter. Was that her daughter or was it her stepdaughter? I'm unsure. But Jim said like you act like we haven't been here before. So it seems like they have been to her house before at the very least. Like it was Hart and Wen's first time. But Jim and Li Ming have probably seen her at some point over the last two months. Which is a big step up from the years that she went without seeing them. She really made an effort to step up her son this episode. And I thought that was really nice. Hart's mum, she stepped up as well. She almost instantly said yes to heart going to a school in a different country like they are taking leaps and bounds ahead here like he was barely in his house this episode he was out of the house so much experiencing life having that freedom and now he's going to be off to a different country and being happy with Li Ming I'm glad they brought they brought a couple of references back as well like the pen the pen that was a parallel Guy for taking Alan's pen and him not really caring about it and then when Jim took it a few episodes ago he was livid and made this whole like big statement about how he shouldn't take what isn't his and the DVD came back the film that's been referenced so many times Jim lied about the ending wow <laughs> now my memory doesn't serve me well in remembering what he actually said about the ending I believe he said like they have to be patient or something like he marries his fiance the girl and the man just live on their lives without pursuing each other anymore or something like that which i guess could have been his way to warn when of him like he should just give up on me i've been trying to make a metaphor out of this dvd since ep one and i am sticking with it that could have been his way to like warn when off to stop trying to pursue him like resembling the film but he lied about that and they actually did end up together in the end as did Jim and Wen because Wen didn't give up <laughs> Wen is the MVP <laughs> Leng as well we got to see where he is now he's working at a water park which apparently pays well according to Lee Ming so good for him he has a child to provide for and he gave back the dowry the necklace that Jim bought in instead of his car insurance so I'm so glad he got that back it seems like they have all reached a point in their lives where they don't have as big 
financial worries. The food truck seems to be going well and they seem happy. I mean, happiness is the main thing, but they didn't really mention their struggles with money either once they got to the two months later. One turned down his promotion. I mean, I thought he would. He was never going to leave Jim now, but I really liked the touch of them recalling back to episode two when he said that his dream was to build a home and he said i've now built a home i'm not going anywhere so he's turned down the job like happiness is more important than money and that's what he chose and that kind of was a big theme of this episode as well wasn't it just choosing things to make you happy like Li ming said to his mother like as long as you're happy i'm happy for you with regards to her husband and living with him. Jim and Jam both did what they could to allow Li Ming to achieve his dream and he said that he was really happy with heart. Guy Fu was saying is it ridiculous of him to carry on with his chicken stall even though he's got a degree and they were like it's not ridiculous because it's what he chose to do. An amazing show. 10 out of 10. <laughs> so exceeded my expectations. Oh my god. I still remember watching that first trailer in the 2022 lineup and I was like, oh, cheating? I'm not gonna like this. And I believe I put it last out of the BLs in the trailers that I reacted to. It really, really exceeded my expectations. That's a glory of all. Like when you watch the pilot trailers, they might not be your cup of tea, but if you give them a chance, they can really exceed your expectations and this has become one of my favourites, like a truly, truly excellent show. Amazing characters, that's what really serves it, like the characters and their dynamics with each other sold the show for me. Really hit close to home in a lot of places, it had some beautiful messages along the way and some really, really lovely moments, um, I, I truly loved it. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching my reaction to episode 8 of Moonlight Chicken. If you want to watch my uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Low. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.